Okay, uh, hello everybody. So this will be a very quick video on how you can compile your Shopee sales into Excel uh, for compilation. If you actually watch my Lazada sales data compilation, this shouldn't be very much of, uh, of an issue for you um, if you actually understood that video. So um, let's begin. Uh, go into my orders. Uh, select the date in which you would like to export your data. Uh, in this case, I will just choose the uh, 1st to 31st of July. Click on export. Uh, give it some time to process because um, the, if you have a lot of orders, it's going to take some time. So you can actually click away first and come back to it later once it's done. Okay, so uh, now that it's done, let's download the file and open it. Okay, so first things first, uh, you like to do is to enable editing of the file. Okay? And you should have all your order details in one very nice Excel. So um, what you have to do next uh, for Shopee, uh, you don't have to do any sort of merging or any anything like that because uh, Shopee actually puts everything into one very clean Excel sheet for you. So uh, if you were to scroll on to the right, uh, some of the more important columns will be your parent SKU reference number and your SKU reference number. Uh, basically your SKU reference number uh, takes reference from your parent SKU reference number. Uh, this is actually for those items which you have options and you actually indicated seller SKU for your individual options. Uh, if those are not filled, or if you only have a listing that doesn't have any options, then it's gonna just uh, take your parent SKU as the SKU reference number. So regardless of whether you have a SKU reference number or not, um, your SKU reference number will always be filled. So you will always be able to see something down here. It won't be left blank because you never indicated uh, in the options or whatever. So you can just take the SKU reference number as the most accurate uh, reference number to use for your summary. Right? The next few columns uh, that are important will be your deal price and your quantity. Basically your deal price will be your item sales price uh, which you would want to know. You can use product subtotal as well uh, but I normally like to use deal price. So uh, what you have to do is you need to uncheck, select all, select the whole column, unselect the deal price, click on the error message convert all to numbers, right? And you can start to do your filtering of the orders. So go select the whole table, data, filter, uh, filter by your order status, take away all the cancel, only choose those that are completed shipping and to ship. Click on OK. Select the whole table. Uh, paste it to permanently remove all your filtered data. Change this to orders. So now you can do your pivot table. Right? So from here, just choose your SKU reference number. Click on deal price, quantity, and if you would like, you can pull the deal price down into the filters, remove all the zero values, so you can remove all the SKUs that are either free gift bundles or uh, given away as a free gift or whatever, right? So. You have a very clean set of data. Now what happens is you can add your order ID into the list as well. So you can have a very nice uh, breakdown of each individual order for this item. Uh, and click on one of this. Collapse the entire view so you have a very clean set of data and you can expand it whenever you want to see for each the orders for each individual items right in the breakdown so uh 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this will be all for Shopee. It's a, it's a very simple uh, summary compilation. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. Uh, and see you next time.